will charge back back. Johnny Cash. Genius sisters use him like a lab rat. Johnny Cash. The main freak dad at home is super busy mom. Johnny Cash. But the boy's best friend is a talking dog. Talking dog. That's right. Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game control is skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Sorry I asked, but why? The new Game Droid QS just came out. Quad screen so you can play four games at once. It's 250 bucks! Then quit yammering and start hammering! I owe you 50 bucks, signed Johnny. Darn! We gotta find this Johnny and tell him I want my 50 bucks! Um, he's you. Right. Then we'll just ask my dad for the money. <laughs> the 250! <laughs> no. Darn! If you need money that bad for a new game droid that you don't need, I suggest you get a job. What is this job? It's one of my best ideas ever, and it'll totally make a ton of money for new game droids. <laughs> huh? A lemonade stand? That's your big money-making idea? Every kid in town has one. Oh, and your big money-making idea is where, Mr. Businessman? Good point. Lemonade, get your lemonade here. I'll take the whole picture. Sold. <laughs> that was totally worth a week's allowance. Whoa, flying monkey. Awesome. Wow. Kids really love monkeys. And I really need money. Whoever buys a lemonade gets a free ride with Lola the Monkey. Yeah! Start squeezing, dog. Very good, Lolo. No. No hovercraft without more monkey flight training. I need Lolo to give kids rides on jetpacks so they buy lemonade so I can buy a new Game Boy QS! Forget it. After this, we're training Lolo to alphabetize. Alphabetizing, wow. Monkeys love that. And Johnny, take monkey bus! Okay, who's first? Me first, yeah, me. Move, you little geek, me. <laughs> Lolo is for important research, Johnny, not silly joy rides. Oh, and give us back our money, Tess. Yeah, the money is not refundable, so let us. Uh-oh. I think we learned a lesson here. What, always check the fuel gauge before escaping on a jet pack? No. Monkeys equal money. And if we want a game drawn QS, we gotta get back into monkey business fast. No hovercraft lessons until you finish your chores. Uh, I mean, your domestic TV critic training. You'll screen a whole night of TV and determine which shows are best for smart girl tweens. So come on down to Port Belly's Wild Animal Park, home of the happiest animals on Earth. This day is excellent. Now keep watching and stay away from Johnny. Uh, Lolo, how would you like to be the star of your very own circus? <laughs> right! Uh, Welcome to the greatest monkey show in Pork Belly. For the measly price of one dollar, you'll see 
a unicycle on the high wire and high dive into a glass of water. Then you can pet her. Yeah! <gasps> He's kidding, right? 248, 249, $250! <laughs> oh, they don't look happy. We're taking Lolo back to the lab to finish her training now! And we're taking a cut of your circus profits because Lolo is our monkey! I'm sorry, and I promise, no more breaking into the lab and no more monkey business. That's right! You had your fingers crossed when you made the promise, right? Bingo! Now, who wants to see a dork and his dumb dog shot out of a cannon? Yeah! Oh. $249 short. Hey, you're that kid with the monkey, right? She's available for private parties, store openings, and bar mitzvahs. Bring her down to Simeon's used cars tomorrow, and I'll pay you a hundred bucks. Okay, let's get Lolo. <laughs> no hovercraft for monkeys! Now, this cage is for your own good, Lolo, and by that we mean it'll keep Johnny away. And if it doesn't, the laser beam grid and security drones will. So bring the family to Park Valley's Wild Animal Park. It's like having a rainforest in your backyard. Well, that was easy. Huh? Stop, Johnny! Stop, Johnny! Stop, Johnny! Are they nuts? Susan and Mary really don't want you to take Lolo. Just get the monkey! You set the drones to stun, right? I thought so. And where's Johnny with our monkey? So come on down to Simeon's used cars where prices are so low, you'll go bananas. Well, that was convenient. Awesome! We're only 149 bucks away from a shiny new Game Droid QS! And these flyers will totally drum up more business! A monkey! I want to hire you for my son's birthday party. How much? $149. Deal! I'll see you at 3 p.m. Woohoo! All we gotta do is get Lolo to that party and... <laughs> Time for plan B. Well, this should protect Lolo from totally annoying little brothers. So, when did you build the monkey container? I didn't. I thought you did! Run! We need Lolo for important research. I need her more for important money. She's going to learn how to vacuum a lab today. <laughs> No, she's entertaining brats at a party today! <laughs> she's not doing either, because she's running away! Oh, no! Who's gonna make me money? We're back in the lab! Oh! Why did she leave? She left because all we've been doing is thinking about ourselves, and not Lolo. Johnny's right. Which is weird. And we have to find Lolo and make things right! To the hovercraft! Catching neglected runaway monkeys is fun. The bus Lolo jumped on stops at the Pork Belly Wild Animal Park. We'll never find Lolo in those thick woods. We gotta get down there and take a closer look. Good idea. You gave them parachutes, right? I think so. <laughs> Lolo, please don't run away. We came to apologize. Sorry about the no parachute thing, guys. I'm spacing out today. But we're mostly sorry about neglecting you, Lolo. We really want you to come home, and we promise we won't make you watch any more bad sitcoms. Or perform at birthday parties for money. But if you want to perform at birthday parties, that's cool too, and we should go now. 
I think she wants to live here. Is that what you want? I'm gonna miss her, but she sure looks happy. You get to do anything you want. <laughs> Except flying hovercraft. Let's take flying hovercrafts off the list. It's a lie! Scams! I didn't do it! Wait, why am I here? Mr. Teacher Man says you're not paying attention in class. He's got it in for me. He's way nasty, crazy, and very unattractive. And he's behind me, isn't he? He looks out the window instead of at his books, and he fills his notebooks with doodles, not notes! <laughs> <laughs> These are actually pretty good. Yeah, well, th th that's not the point. And unless he gets his grades up, it's your duty to send him to summer school! Summer school? I can't go to summer school! I'll die from lack of summer! Then take a class where you can express yourself artistically. Something that suits your free-thinking spirit. You mean take an easy class to get my grades up? Bingo! Okay, Johnny, time to find a super easy class. But where? Where? I'll help you, son. Um, why are you in school? In coveralls? With a cool mustache? I'm the new janitor! I roll this mop around, goof off, and make moolah for video games and pie! Nice! Now, help me find a class where I can get an easy A. Cooking class! You get an easy A and we get to eat it, too! Now go! Now class! Whip the batter gently on low for a thick consistency. Or on high for a faster A. Are you going to clean this up? As soon as I take care of this mess. Bye. It's over. I can't find an easy class. I'm going to summer school. Thanks. I needed that. Incinerator? Cool. Can we burn something else? Maybe later. Now, don't look for the easy class. Look for the easy teacher. That's the secret. <laughs> but where? Where is Mr. Easy A? Wow. It's amazing and made of wood. I've never seen anything like it. Or you. It's a mop handle. I'm the new janitor. Well, I'm the woodshop teacher, and that, my friend, is an A. Nice work. But he's not even in your class. Or a student. So? I just love giving A's. And I love woodshop. Now, the first thing you must learn in woodshop is safety. So always keep your body parts away from the saw. Don't panic. It's happened before. I'll just call in a sub with my good hand and be back in two months. A sub? This is gonna be the easiest day ever. No hard work, no summer school, and more importantly, no Mr. Teacher Man! Hello, class! Huh? I'm the substitute woodshop teacher! And your assignment is a bench! And I expect everyone to work hard if they want an A! Just make a nice bench. But it doesn't matter what I do. That guy has it in for me. I'm doomed. Doomed! Wait, I have a plan. Let me guess. Operation Dookie saves your butt again? Close. 
Operation Dookie spends his first paycheck. I hate this plan. Now we sneak this pre-made beauty into class when teacher man's not looking, hand it in, and laugh, ha ha, when he gives me an A. It's, it's amazing. It's perfect. It's still got the price tag on it. Are you serious? And unless you want to keep that F, I suggest you hand in a bench that was made in this wood shop. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey, I need 20 bucks. Wood shop is fun. Hey, 20 bucks. <laughs> huh? It's mine. Back off. It's mine. Hand this sucker in. Ah, what? You said to hand in something made here in Woodshop. Here it is. But it's not yours. You didn't say it had to be mine. I want a bench by tomorrow, and if you want an A, it better be amazing and be made by you. So you're gonna make a bench? No, because nobody tells Johnny Test what to do. But he's your teacher. That's his job. Maybe if you listen to him once in a while, you might get an A. Oh, I'm getting an A. I need a totally amazing bench made out of wood. Why would we build you a bench? Roll the videotape. If you get the shoes back, we will owe you one. Owe me five, and I'm in. Curse modern video technology. Construction drones! What can we build for you? I need a bench that is so amazing. It'll make Mr. Teacher Man freak out, and he'll give me an A. You got it. <laughs> and here it is, a totally custom low-riding, cold drink dispensing, foot-resting TV turbo bench. <laughs> and it's made of wood! Now, Johnny, we need to show you some of the turbo features. The only thing I need is to hand this puppy in. <laughs> oh, yeah! the most amazing bench I've ever seen! And then there's no price tag or other student's name on it! Yeah, so I'll take that A, please. Not yet! You just have to pass the sitting test! Ah, but you don't just sit on this bench, you experience it. So, how about that A? Ooh, I love this music! Who is it? Don't know, don't care, give me A. Well, eject the CD and find out! Eject mode. That might hurt your grade. Sorry, Mr. Teacher Man. I'll just turn it off and you can give me that A. Where's the off switch? Try the FOT button. Freak out teacher mode. Okay, bad button choice. Freak out and get that figure of speech. No, no, not drill mode! Oh, this is just great. Who do you think has to clean all this up? Free now, teacher mode. Cool bench. Huh. Johnny bro, hey, you just missed this really cool. Which way did it go? Toward the principal's office. We gotta stop it! Hey, isn't that your dog? No. no. Go! go! Johnny's Woodshop Project is evil! Come on, Henry. Don't you think you're being too hard on Johnny? Give Johnny an A. Freak out teacher mode. First, let me say that is an amazing bench. And second, you are in a lot of trouble, mister. Yeah, I know. But first, I have to save Mr. Teacher Man. Teacher. Hey, Ben! Looking for us? Make Teacher Man freak out. Okay, so we got him away from Teacher Man. Now what? No idea. Run! I am 
disagree with your teacher! You are a horrible student! Why couldn't you just build a wood bench yourself? Wait! Wood! That's it! What are we doing here? We're trapped! It's gonna blast us! Not if we blast it first! Quick! Throw stuff in the incinerator and close the door! Freeze, teacher man! No! And you're in big trouble! Before you say anything, I'm really sorry, and I promise to work hard and listen to you from now on. So, you're the teacher, and I'll listen. Just say it, and I'll do it. You teacher, me student! Well, maybe I am a bit hard on you sometimes, Johnny. But it's only because deep down I know there's a great student inside of you. Really? Cause I don't. Well, if you just focus on the work instead of goofing off, you'll see you can get an A. Hmm, not goof off. Now what do you say we give that bench one more shot? Well, somebody's got a lot of cleaning to do. Oh, I quit. Now that's an A. Yeah! Uh, <clears throat> Sorry.